Our next guest tonight says the way we think about aging down the road likely won't be what it is today. Futurist and best-selling author Faith Popcorn joins us now. Faith, welcome to The Why. Thank you so much. I'm happy to be here. So you say the future will be full of super agers. I know that's a term that you use, but what do you mean by that? Well, uh, super agers are those who are going to live till mm, maybe 110, maybe 120. And they have a long way to go. So if we thought we were getting uh, some wrinkles in our 40s, think about how we're going to get some wrinkles in our 80s with uh, maybe 40 years to go. But you said that 100 will be the new 50. Can you sketch out this world for us? Well, first of all, I think we decide how many times we're going to want to get married. Um, fertility is going to also be available to, you know, late age. So when you want to have which groups of children, it kind of like uh, plays with a whole time clock. Uh where you maybe want to live every 30 years. So I think there'll be new kinds of, instead of like financial planners, like life planners, mm -hmm. it will help you say, you know, in, in maybe in your 20s and 30s, you want to live in like a hot, crazy city like New York, but maybe like in your 60s and 70s, you might want to move to California. And then in your 80s and 90s, maybe you want to try the South or, or, or another country. Mm -hmm. And, um, You'll be able to plan that way. And also, you know, about money, be able to figure out how you're going to keep your cash flow going all those years. I know nostalgia can be a powerful force. And, you know, with purchasing power that older customers have, you know, in ways they are able to relive their youth. Uh, can you call, I think you call this down aging. Can you explain yeah. that concept? So as life is speeding forward, we become nostalgic, not only for our childhood, but even for younger people's childhood. So we're, 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 we're right now, even we see that, you know, maybe young adults are playing mm, Beatles songs. You know, they weren't there when the Beatles were on the rise, but they become attached to it. The Oreo cookie is a perfect example. You know, it reminds us of a, a warmer, cozier youth but maybe not your youth maybe your parents youth and even our television you know watching we're watching like old sitcoms like i love lucy and father knows best so it's kind of yearning for a simpler life uh, we want to observe it we want to like pretend we're there for a minute and that could take us right to the metaverse the metaverse yes explain that so the metaverse and you'll be hearing more and more about that, mm -hmm. it is an actual parallel platform to IRL in real life. So as real life becomes more difficult, <clears throat> the weather situation becomes, you know, more awful, wars, uh, environmental hazards, uh, all kinds of things. We move to this platform, the metaverse, you know, right now we have to put on an Oculus and we step into a much more uh copacetic and beautiful uh surrounding so if we want to have nature we go in and it, it and oh by the way you don't have to go in by yourself as yourself you can go in as your avatar so talk about aging let's say you're 40 but you want to go in as 20. let's say you're a female but you want to go in as a male or something between gender fluid, a male and a female, or maybe you want to go in as part dog. Mm -hmm. You can, you know, roam through this metaverse and visit different places uh, and actually believe, feel, because there'll be smell attached to it, there'll be taste attached to it, there'll be feeling attached to it, um, you know, sensory feeling. You will actually have the experience of being there. Wow. I mean, this is reminding me of like a Black Mirror episode. I don't know if you're familiar with that show, but it's, yeah, I mean, that's what this reminds me of. Can I ask, I mean, it, it sounds beautiful to be able to escape to this other place and, and be who you want to be uh, and live the life that you want to life as life here becomes more difficult. Do you see a negative to this, though? And, and, and especially with age, again, you know, with people feeling so uncomfortable with aging. Well, the negative is that it becomes so much nicer than the life you're living. 
So when you can live a life where you're younger and you're richer, you can get a car, you know, on the blockchain that costs much less, you know, than buying a car. You know, you can build a beautiful house on the blockchain, but it's not bricks and mortar. You know, it is it is in the metaverse. At the end of the day, you got to log off. Right. So and you're left with, Maybe. you know, your your actual age, your actual like where you at are at in life. I mean, do you think, you know, you're just trying to escape out of this? I mean, is there damage that can well, be done by you that? Know, I know. I know because you say damage and I know what you're worried about. You're worried about like when we're there. We're not watching what happens here. Right. Just just the right. mental discrepancy. Uh, you know, do you think that that's harmful? We don't know yet. So let's say people are happier. Mm -hmm. They feel less hostile. They don't feel like starting wars as much. Um, things are, including ourselves, more beautiful. And let's say you can, um, let's say there's me and then I have two avatars and my avatars look like whatever I want them to look like. So it can be Faith Popcorn like this. Then I could have a, a, an avatar called Poppy Talkhorn, which was a rock star. And then I could have another avatar that is, uh, you know, uh, George, you know, my male avatar. And they could actually be living. So we're not only talking about longevity here and aging. We're talking about living three different lives side by side. Wow. Bottom line question for you. How do you think our attitudes about aging are changing now? And, and what will they be like in the future? You know, I don't think our attitudes toward aging are changing that much. I think people want to look great and they want to look, and if great means young, what I think is changing is the technology to allow us to look better and better with much less work. So instant, you know, makeup. So the filters are the beginning of that where you go, you have a filter and then, oh, you don't need brushes, you don't need mascara. So I, I think the technology is changing, but the desire to be young only is increasing. Faith Popcorn, we appreciate you joining us on The Why. Thank you for your insight. Oh, thank you.